<laughs> so, so that's the way I look at the game. Yeah. Before you get out of here, I know you're busy. I have to know, I'm dying to know, what is your favorite wrestling moment? Oh man, uh, going to Iraq. Um, you know, I got a chance to go and uh, you know, get some troops, you know, way back in 2002. And uh, it, was, it was the most, you know, eye-opening trip that I ever, you know, got a chance to be a part of, roughing it with the soldiers, you know, for the Black Hawk all week. You know, uh, getting a chance to, you know, see what our young people out there doing for this country. Stuff that we don't see on CNN or see, and see uh, in NBC or anything like that. Those young guys were, and young women were over there working their asses off. And uh, to actually see it up close and personal, I didn't want to leave. I wanted to stay there. I wanted to enlist. You know, and uh, it was an awesome trip. Yeah. Did you have a favorite wrestler that you wrestled with? Or? Oh, man, uh, many wrestlers, man. Uh, yeah. All Canadians. <laughs> uh, I just say that. that. Big, big up to oh, Canadian wrestlers out there, you know, that I've gotten the chance to dance with over the years, man. But I had an awesome career, man. It's, and uh, and it's, it ain't over, man. It ain't over. As far as the wrestling, that's over. I don't ever want to do that again. Okay, okay. But, uh, never? I, 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 uh, ne uh, never. You know, never? Undertaker came I, back I, last I, week. I, you gotta I, come I, back. I, I, I can still do spin Rudy, but I scratched every inch, man, you know. Okay. And it really, truly is a young man's game. Uh, to be able to, you know, I got a school and to actually be able to, you know, train the next generation of professional wrestlers to be able to mentor the young guys out there right now to let them know what it takes to get to this level as well as having a plan for what's next because uh, preparation is the only luck you're ever going to have in life you know so for me to be uh, a general in the game you know generals they sit back and you know like chess pieces they move everything around you know so it's beautiful being a general. What about stepping into the movie field like uh, The Rock? You know I mean you know the movie thing you know if, if it happens it happens but uh, I like being behind the scenes. I've been in front of the camera for, you know, 30 years, and I know I don't look that old, but uh, it's been it's been a uh, it's been a heck of a ride uh, doing what I do, man. And, Can we get an exclusive about your next episode coming up on your podcast? Oh uh, man, um, I'm gonna be talking about um, this, man. Um, that's the exclusive. I'll be talking about this. You know, I'll be trying to get some of these guys, you know, to step inside the Hall of Fame as well. Um, you know, just like I say, just before you guys got here, this is my dream come true being out here hanging out with uh, you know all the legendary you know fighters all the legendary promoters you know and as well as the coming coming stars of the future man it's it's awesome you know what I mean and, and they've been you know when they see me a lot of them they come up and they pay homage you know so it's, it, it feels good to you know still be relevant you know what I mean I always say within the game within the storm everything is always going to change but to stay relevant within the storm you know that, that's that's what I like. Are you speaking of wrestling the legend just passed away? Just give us your 